Hey Taurus and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and this is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel you guys. If you haven't already go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. Taurus, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Taurus for this week. What do they need to hear and know? Taurus, what do you need to hear and know for this week? Messages for Taurus. We have sacrifice. We have emotional loss. We have material and spiritual prosperity. Right away, I feel like if someone doesn't make a sacrifice, it's going to be someone's loss, okay? This is what I feel that you're thinking about this week. Um, this could be you or your person, but someone is going to lose out if they don't sacrifice something. Someone has to make a sacrifice, okay? There could have also been, this could be past energy because emotional loss here is the five of cups, which represents emotional loss from the past, so someone could have sacrificed a lot for a person in the past, could be recent past, could be distant past, okay? But someone felt, could have felt like, look, you know, I've sacrificed a lot. I've done a lot for this relationship or for this person, even if it's not a relationship yet. I've put out my feelings, my emotions, and I'm disappointed. Someone could feel disappointed this week. But it's like, if something doesn't change... Like, it's going to be a loss. But I feel like something will change with material and spiritual prosperity. Okay? And that's with this person or without this person. Okay? So let's see what's going on. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, base chakra. Someone is not feeling their best this week. Someone is vibing low. Base chakra is the lowest of the chakras. Right behind it, see, love begins. There, there could be almost like a like a pity party, so to speak. See, mental conflict right behind that. I feel a pity party energy. And it's not like this person is being pitiful. It's like when you don't get your way, but you're the problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're not getting your way, but you're the problem. Okay, that's the energy that I'm feeling. And this person could be going through a lot of mental conflict they're thinking about love with you, how to start this with you. They could be obsessed with thinking of this, but it's like, okay, have they made a move yet? Have they told you how they feel yet? Something like that. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's clarify. Clarify this energy. There you are. I split the deck. <laughs> there you are, Taurus, with that queen of pentacles. I feel like you're ready. You're ready. Yeah. For you to be standing in your energy like that, you're ready. Okay, what's going on? See, something is feeling like there's an ending with the Ten of Swords right there. What's going on with the situation for Taurus this week? What's going on with the situation for Taurus this week? What do they need to hear and know? Okay, why sacrifice here? Knight of Wands. See, it's like maybe in the past someone was a player. When I get the Knight of Wands... Someone could have been a player, okay? Male or female, doesn't matter. Also, with the Knight of Wands, it's an energy of someone who sacrificed time with you because they were too busy. They were all over the place. The Knight of Wands can be someone who's like, they're spreading their energy all over the place, running thin, okay? They could have sacrificed time with you, love with you, because they were too busy, you know, spreading their energy to other things, other people, why is emotional loss here for Taurus? Whoa. Okay, the deck just wants to fall out. They need to heal. They need to heal. <clears throat> Someone has gone through a lot of bullshit, okay? And healing needs to take place with the star card. Someone has been experiencing emotional loss. Maybe in the past, someone just gave too much to other people who played them. This could be you or your person. So put the characters where they go. Someone gave too much in the past to people who were like fuck boys, fuck girls with that player energy. 
people who, who didn't have time for you, people who didn't have time for them. Maybe you both have gone through this and there needs to be healing because someone is having a hard time moving forward. Why is material and spiritual prosperity here? Four of Cups. See, someone doesn't know how to accept love. Someone is dealing with feelings of rejection with the Four of Cups. Someone is avoiding a, a, like a phone call. Someone is avoiding a conversation. Four of Cups is also like, I see this cup in my face, but I'm not reaching for it. Do you see that? I see it, but I'm not reaching for it because I'm too focused on my material success. Okay? So that could be the change that this person is going through. But I feel like there's disappointment here. What is this person's intentions for Taurus? Okay, we have some flip. Ten of Cups. Yes. They want it with you. Marriage, family, everything. They see it with you. You make this person very fulfilled emotionally. I just feel like it, they're having a hard time receiving love. How do you feel about this person, Taurus? Nine of Pentacles. So you feel like, okay, this is a good catch. Like this person is what I've been waiting for. They're stable. They look good. They smell good. They could possibly be a business owner, something like that. This person may have their own home, own car, or just successful in their own right. They're just a good person. So you feel like this is a good match. This is a good person. And they intend to have a family with you. Okay, so let's get some more insight. We have three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So there could be some type of reconciliation. The two of you coming back together. Yeah, somebody's going to make this right. Don't worry about this energy this week. Y'all may be a little off balance this week, but somebody is going to come back to make it right. They may apologize. Yeah, using their intuition, the high priestess energy is here to come in and make a solid offer with the Knight of Pentacles there. Let's get some tea on this. What's the tea? How does this person feel? Whoa, okay. Okay, we have some flip over too. Two flip over. We have coffee cup. They want to meet. They want to talk. They, they want to feel uplifted with you. This could be a friendship or this could feel like uh, you've been friend zoned by this person. But this person act actually, sorry, wants to meet up with you, wants to talk to you like a friend. The two of you could have that friendship bond as well, even though there's an attraction. Abundance is here. This person wants ab abundance with you. They want to manifest this with you, okay? And what we had to shoot out was girl talk. See, some of you are happily single or you felt like, look, I'm just going to focus on myself. This person could be seeing you investing in yourself, having a good time with your friends, all of that. But it's like, I want more. Look at the bottom of the deck. See, Libra got the same energy. Some of you could be, could be dealing with a Libra or you may have that in your chart. The justice card is Libra energy over here. Okay. You may have that in your chart. They may have it in theirs. But wedding rings is here at the bottom of the deck. Right behind it, kisses. Yeah, they like you. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving. They want equal give and take with you. They're falling in love. They're falling in love. They see a future with you. They see a family with you. It's just that there may have been some things in the past to affect this person and how they receive love. Okay, they may not be able to just show you right off the bat. And th remember, this may be you as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> All these cards just flew out at me. This person loves food. They love to eat. This is a lot of cards. Let me hurry up. They love sex. They want sex with you. Yeah. I don't want to lose you. See? I don't want to lose you. They could have been giving their attention to business or their career, school, family, other things. You know? They don't want to lose you. I need space. Yeah, freedom, me time. Someone needs to heal. They need time to work on themselves. Uh-huh. I talked to my family about you. They're serious. And trust issues, see? Will you hurt me? This person has been hurt before in the past. Um, and so it may take some time for them to heal. But trust me, they want this with you and they want to make things right with you. And I feel an apology may come in. I want to make love is at the bottom of the deck. Alrighty, Taurus, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.